So what I want to share with you now is what's going to be a very interesting concept. When we're going to speak about on Rosh Hashanah, we're going to speak about <laughs> Anfuyot, Zichronot, the Shofarot. Yeah, and what I wanted to... <laughs> yeah, one second. The Gemara says in Mesechet Rosh Hashanah that the reason why we do, right, Malchuyot is Kedesh Etamlichuni Alechem. In order that you're make you're proclaiming that Hakadosh Baruch Hu is the God over you, so therefore we're going to do what's called Malchuyot. The second one is going to be which one? Zichronot. Zichronot. Why? In order that I should remember, right? The Shizkaruni. You're gonna. I'm going to. Your Zikaron will come in front of me, and I'm going to remember you for the good. Why do you say Shofar? Uh, it's Uvama, how am I going to remember you with a shofar? That means on Rosh Hashanah, we're going to have three different things. Malchuyot, in order to make a Kadosh Baruch Hu king over us. Right? Shofarot, right? And then we're going to have, right? Uh, sorry, Zichronot and then Shofarot. Okay? Fine. So now, what we're going to have to understand is, right? We're going to have, right? The how many psukim do we have on each one? Okay, so on this, I'm going to actually share with you first the tool. The tool comes and it says, "En pochatim me'asara psukim she be'malchut, right? Bechol echam em u'me'asara zichronot u'me'asara shofarot." Number ten. Yeah, you're yeah. going to have ten times ten psukim for malchuyot, ten psukim for zichronot, and ten psukim for Shofarot. And in between each one, you're going to have Tkiyat Shofar. Right? That's what we have. So the question is, why do we have 10? Why do we have 10? So first of all, to understand why we have 10, there's going to be a few different reasons. The Gemara brings down, right? This is the Gemara Mesechet Rosh Hashanah. The Gemara says, what's the number 10? What's important in the number 10? Inyan. Inyan. Interesting. Yeah? Whenever the Gemara brings down, ah, you guys, right away you're going to Kabbalah. Yeah, you tell who you speak. Yeah, one second. Eser Svidot, you're right. Anything else? Eser Tadibrot, go to the Pashtut. Ah, they go to the uh, Kabbalot. Uh, yeah, so eh, Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. What else do you have? Shabbat, I said a lot of people have said that. No, How did HaKadosh Baruch Hu create the world? With 10 sayings. So therefore you have Sarama Amarot. And what else do you have? This is what uh, Steve said before. Hallelujah. 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 Pay attention. How many Hallelujahs do you have? 10. Yeah, one more time. Chapter 150. You said about 150. This is the chapter of Tehillim, which is going to be that we're going to read it, first of all, in the middle of the Amidah. We also do it during Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, there you go. Because each one has two. It's five sukim. Right? Afterwards, you have Kol Nishmat And again, you're going to, and then you're going to say that Kol Nishmat twice, because you just finished Pesukim de Zimra. But really, Bermet, it's 10, because there's five sukim, and it's going to be, right, and it's going to be two. So now, what happens is, so one more time, you have asara ilulim shalalilu el bekocho, right, keneged asara av the ilulim alulu bekocho, aseret adibrot, asara ma'amarot, five. So now, there is going to be another as well. The... It's actually brought down, right, that there's going to be the 10 Pesukim also is because of the Eser Kolot. When you blow the Shofar, how many sounds do you make? Yes. 10. Yes. Why? Because it's not really three, even though it's three, 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 but really, Be'emet, it's the, the first one is four. You do Tashrat, Tekiya, Shvarim, Trua. Right? And then the tkiah. So that's four. And then you do three, three. So four, three, three is ten. 
So you have Eser Kolot, and then you also have the Eser Sefirot as well. The Eser Sefirot is, again, basically it's the, 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 the 10 Sefirot that they mentioned. That was the first one that they mentioned. But usually we will mention last, but fine. Now the question that we ask ourselves is, okay, fine. How do we break up? How do we break up this um, these prayers exactly? How do we break it up? Everyone understood? How do we break it up? If you have if you have a choice and you're going to bring out ten psukim, yeah. So what are you going to do? So listen to the tool. The tool comes and the tool says as follows. The tool says you're going to have right. Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri Amar Afilu only said he says. You're going to have echad shel Torah, echad shel Mincha, yatsa. Mincha takavatayu. Now he says, when you're going to have the ten sukim, you're going to have sukim of Torah, sukim of Nevi'im, and sukim of Ketuvim. Yeah? So you have from the Torah, from the prophets, and from the Ketuvim. How do you do it exactly? How do you break it up? Anybody ever paid attention? Paid attention? Hmm. No? How do you how do you break it up? So what we're going to say is as follows. Yeah. The way that we do it is you're going to first do the first three psukim is going to be psukim of the Torah. The next three and the next three Nevi'im and the last one Torah. Torah. Now why do you do it that way? Yeah? Yes. Why do you do that? Okay. Yes. says like this, because it says like this, Shulchan Aruch says, you need three psukim, right? This is Shulchan Aruch, by the way. Shlosha shel Torah, Shlosha shel Ketuvim, Shlosha shel Nevi'im, Ve'echad shel Torah. So Shulchan Aruch comes and he says this. So he says like this, says the, the Kappa Chaim, he brings down, Rabbi David the Budaham, because we're going to say Ketuvim in the Sefer of Tehilim, and David is before, right, the Psukim of Nevi'im, as we already mentioned. And what are we praying for uh, on Rosh Hashanah? Malchut, the Mashiach. <laughs> Mashiach is Malchut David. David the Melech was also a Navi. So therefore, the Tehillim, which is a Ketuvim that we're going to bring down, takes precedence over the rest of the Nevim. So you're first going to do Torah, then the Ketuvim, which is again Tehillim, it's always Tehillim, and then you're going to do the Nevi'im. Who says this? The Rosh. And the Levush brings it down. And also the Bidavid Abraham. The Korban Netanel comes and he brings an incredible thing. Listen to this. On the Rosh. He says, what, what are we doing exactly? The psukim of the ketuvim are shevach. Right? What does it mean? It's going to be a praise. He says, because it's praising Hashem. So it's not only in the past, it's also in the future. He says, He says, one second. But when are the ketuvim, when is the nevim going to happen? In the, it's not now. It's not a praise of Hashem now. So therefore, you should only do it later on. But he comes and he says, there's another reason because of David Melech. So he says, one second. Do you know that what we say? I'm going to read to you what you said. You started in Lelu Lishabeach, and then you're going to start, you're going to stay like this. Right? You're going to say, Katu betoratach. Right? Hashem inoch lulam v'nemar v'bitam v'nyakov v'nemar v'nana. What is Divre Kochecha? Ketuvim. Ketuvim. One more time. What's written in the Torah? Three psukim. Divre Kochecha. In your holy words, it's written. This is the Ketuvim. And through the words of your prophets, it's written. This is the Nevi'im. 
And then it says, If you want, we'll go through it. So that way you guys actually see it with your own eyes. You have the three. So he comes and he says, why do we say that? Lama and Omer b'tsukei tzuvim, just like you say, the Adidev Dech HaKedoshim. Like when you say it. So he says it this. He says, the psukim of the Nevi'im was b'shlichut ha-Nevi'im lo-omram li-Yisrael. It was the messengers. The Navi, the prophet, was a messenger of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So therefore he says, al yedei avadecha Nevi'im katuv limor. Through the hands of the prophets that they were the messengers, this is what's written. He says, and therefore he said, the Yavdeh Hanimim, the Kitubim was not a Shlichut, it wasn't a messenger, it was Ruach HaKodesh. So therefore you just say, Divre Kotshecha Katub Lemor. In the holy words, it's written like this. Who says this? Okay? So now we understand why, right? There is another reason also brought down why. That the reason why we're going to do this is, is because of Ma'alim Bakodesh. Meaning, we start with the Torah, which the Torah is the most holy. After the Torah, we're going to go to the Ketuvim in order to go up to the Nevim. And then we're always going to finish with the Torah, just like we always finish the sandwich. Right? So you always finish off, like the Tkiah and the Truah. So you're always going to finish off with it. So that's where you're going to start. Okay? So for example, so that's how we're going to start with this. Okay? Let's start the bracha. This is the bracha of Malchuyot. Okay, so remember, on Rosh Hashanah, we're going to have the nine different blessings during Musaf. We're going to start Malchuyot. The purpose of Malchuyot is to proclaim that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the king. Okay, and that's what we're going to start. So, how do we start Malchuyot? Alenu leshabeach. I don't know. Do you know that Rav Zavichi Right? He actually wrote an entire sefer on Lenu Neshabeach. Now, I think the majority of us, we take it for granted, because since we say it three times a day, so it became like, Yashayu But I remember once, one of the Gdolim once saying, I don't understand you. If on the holiest day of the year, right, because it's also on Kippur as well, right, we're going to come and we're going to put it inside the Amidah, it means that there's something special here, Right? Because think about it. We're not putting uh, We're not putting any That's how we're starting. That's how we're starting. That is I can hear. No, not yet. This is how we start. So he says, He says, this is now the Nusach of the Malchuyot. Because remember, there's Psukim. is not a Pasuk. And the Shabbat is comprised of it. And then afterwards, we're going to bring down the Pesukim, which we didn't get to yet. One second, Shwai, Shwai. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One second, Shwai, Shwai. Okay. So it says like this. Lo omrim shemutar alenu l'shabbat et adonakol, ela la adonakol. What is the, the explanation? He says, by Biur Advanim, we're going to explain the Rambam. The Rambam in Pirusha Mishnayot comes and he says like this. Ko, he says, avodatenu kolel leodia, right, leodio gdulato. Our job is to sing his greatness. That's our job. Okay? And therefore he says, Avodat Hashem, our service to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is, is, says, is kolel she HaKadosh Baruch Hu notel lanu tav sharut ledaber elav, velodia lo gdulato, and that's the way how to serve him. Meaning, if you think about it, it's something incredible. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving us the power and the opportunity to come, right, and to serve him. How are we doing that? We're coming, right, and we are serving him. Right? So he comes and he says as follows. He says like this. He says, So he says, how are we going to do this then? So there's one way of doing it. Korbanot. Right? He says, you're going to do it through the korbanot. There's another way, which is the tefilot. And he says, Yesh sura l'shem, l'shem, l'shem. So actually praise that. So you have service, different services of God. How do you serve God? Somebody's going to ask you, how do you serve Hashem? So one of them is a korban, right? You bring a korban, right? Very good. I can't you. How do you say it? One second. So one of them is korbanot. Very good. Another way is tefilot. And another way is l'shabeach, to praise that Kadosh Baruch So he comes and he says like this. He says, right, as follows. He says, anachnu, we're in front of a Kadosh Baruch Hu, ve'etzlenu, right? He says, we're going to praise Hashem. And that's l'shabeach la'adon akol. Right? So he says, 
on Rosh Hashanah, on this powerful tefillah, this is what we're going to say now, La Adonah Kol Yotzeb Reshit is not the Torah, which is actually talking about a Kadosh Baruch Hu to us, to, to Klad Yisrael. Now the reason why is he says that right now we're going to come and we're going to praise him, right? Because he says the beginning of the Bria, it was only the Tzetzav of Adam and Ishon. Adam and Ishon, he was the only one that was in the world. And what happens? So he says, and still he, he separated us to become a nation. So he says, this is after we became Adon Akol, and we were all the same. So he says, and we are praising HaKadosh Baruch Hu that he chose us. Now it's not, nothing to do with one second. At the beginning, it was Bereshit, it was for, for Israel. So what do you mean it was for everybody? La Adon Akol means he's the master of everybody. He's the master of everybody. Not only the master of everybody, it's for us also. So he says, we are actually praising, we're thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu about that. So he says, Adon HaKol, we're coming, we're saying that at the end of the day, he says, Yisrael is not something misuyam. He says, we were zochet to this only because of Rav Ram Nimtzav Yaakov. And therefore, we're coming, we're saying that we were chosen to be Mekadesh Shem And that's what we're thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Okay. So he says, Latet Gidula Liyotzeh Bereshit. He says, we continue. We're going to say, Dalid Shvachid. Four different phrases. This is a little Shabbat. We say this every single day, three times a day. Four different praises. Look in the Chaya Adam, that he says, number one, asanu ki goya Number two, lo ki mishpechot adama. Number three, bahem, bahem kehem, and rvi'i ve'goralenu kechol hamuna. What are these exactly? Four different praises. Number one, shelo asanu. He says, our mitziut, our when we're going to speak about the concept of the mitzvah that we have, is that we have a neshama that the umot ha'olam don't have. Why? They don't have the same neshama like this. And that's why Shem Kegoyah Ratzot. Remember that we already mentioned, this is the Chaye Adam. Are you listening? You asked me for a mekor for this. I'm quoting you now, the Chaye Adam, after he fought Shabbat. He comes and he says, the Goy Lak Mitzad Artsam. We were a nation... Right? That's why it's Goya Haratzot. Goya Haratzot. Every Goy becomes a Goy because of the Eretz, because of the land. He says, we're not because of the land. He says, we are oh, only because of... Of... One second, one second, one second. He comes and he says, we, it's not only with Goya Haratzot. He comes and he says, it's because we weren't, we are not Kashul to the land. We are Kashul. We became a nation where? In the desert. Where did Amisel become Amisel? Amibar. When he took us out of the of the of Mitzrayim, that's when we became a nation. Even before going into Eretz Yisrael, we were already an Am, right? We already became already in the in the desert. We have nothing to do with the nation. We don't have to do with the land. You could have put us in I don't know where. As long as we have the Torah, we are already a nation. The second one is lo samanu ki What does that mean? Here we're going to be mitiaches to the Torah because the pasuk sham sam lo. Sima is what's written on the Torah. Sham sam lo choko mishpat v'sham nisau. He gave us a Torah. So he says, we are going to be mishabchim to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, right? And this is a chinu lekabel a Torah. So number one, shelo asanu, he didn't make us a goya ratzot. Why? We have a completely different neshama. We have everything different. He says number two, velo samanu ki mishpechot adama. Their mitziyut has to do with the adama. What is adama? Ha'olam hazeh. You didn't make us like the, the, the Goyim. Why? We have the Torah. The Torah has nothing to do with the Ulam Hazeh. The third one, Shelo Sam Chalkenu Kahem. What does that mean? Right? He says, Eretz Israel is our Chalik in this world. En lanu Eretz kemo acherim, ele kibanu makom shenei Hashem lokech haba. Eretz Israel is the only nation, the only place in the world that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the eye, the center, is always there. Is in Eretz Israel. So he comes and he says, Right, Eretz Yisrael with all the Amalah, and that's why he says the Gra comes and he says in his Yigeret, What does that mean? Everybody wants Israel. Did you ever realize? Think about it. Why? What do they want? They have so many pieces of land, and everybody wants the same place. But why? The reason why is because that's where everyone wants, because they know that Hakadosh Baruch Hu is right there. So that's what they all want. Chazal come and they say in Parashat Ekev, they say, Hakadosh Baruch Hu on the world is like a Tolada of the Ashkacha. Al-Klal Yisrael. What does that mean? Ashkacha and all the, the Aratzot is just because of Eretz Yisrael. Kedushat Eretz Yisrael is special. You learn this if you remember in Kedah Masechta. We learn this in Masechta. HaKadosh Baruch Hu first gives to the drink Eretz Yisrael 
than the rest of the world, whether it's going to be the tamsit, whether it's going to be the leftovers. Eretz Yisrael is always there. Hashem is always there. Afterwards is every, every other part of the world. The last one is going to be the Goralenu Kechol Amonam. He says the Chayy Adam the Midrash that says there's Ashkacha Pratit on every single Jew. It's a Midrash. Are you listening? You can find this in Chayy Adam. Look in the Chayy Adam. He brings a Midrash. He says Yeshka Ashkacha Pratit al Kol Echad VeEchad Mi Yisrael B'Tzura Acheret Meumot Haolam Sheino Mashki Achrak Al Aklav. It's a midrash. Okay, this is the chayada. Meaning, for them, it's a nation. So this nation, this is what's going to happen. On the individual, there's no hashkacha pratit. Hashkacha pratit means divine providence. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to pay attention only on the Jews, on every single Jew. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to say, he's going to lift a finger here, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. That hashkacha pratit, in a separate individual, one-on-one, is only by Jews. It doesn't happen by any other nation. Any other nation, it's a whole. It's like the animals. The animals, right, what happens is, is that it's going to be on the flock, or it's going to be on the sheep, or it's going to be on the couch, or it's going to be on the this. That's what's going to happen. And there, no, it's not on that. One minute, yeah? The Ashkacha Pratit is on everything in a general, not on this specific. One minute, one minute. Yeah? So he comes and he says, right, that that's going to be the Ashkacha Pratit on it. So we come and we say, that's why there's going to be four different dargot that we're saying. And now we're going to say three different dargot of achna'ah. One more time. Four different services that we're coming, we're saying, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, thank you so much. We're not like the Goyim. Right? But then we're going to have something else, which is going to be three different ways of humbling ourselves in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. What is that? Banachu koreim mishtachavim umodim. Again, there's different languages. Right? Some people, you know, the whole, the whole thing, yeah? But whatever, there's different nuschaot in how we say it, right? But he comes and he says, again, Korim is obviously bowing down. Mishtachavim is completely pishut to daim raglaim, completely down. Modim is hakara, is recognizing and thanking of the Baruch Hu. Lifnei melech wa'achem lechim ha'kadosh Baruch Hu. And then obviously we could continue afterwards. This is the, that. then what happens is, is that that is actually going to be just the main focus of Melech. HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Melech. HaKadosh Baruch Hu's the king. That's how we're saying he's king. And then you have all the psukim. So I already told you. The psukim is, you say, Alenu Shabbat, Al Kene Kabelach, and then what do you start? Kakatu betoratach. Adonaim loch lolam vayed. Where's that? The Bible. It's in the Torah. Then, Veneemar. Every time it says Veneemar, it's another pasuk. Lo ibit avem biyakov. So the first one, Hashem yinuchoyot, parashah b'shalach. Lo ibit avem biyakov, parashah b'lach. Right? Utuomer, Menemar vahi bishulu melech bin yachad shivtei Yisrael. Right? Where was that? No, Mordechai. Where's that? In the Ranim. Vahi bishulu melech. Yitasev rashem yachad shivtei Yisrael. Right? So therefore, each one is in the Torah. The first three are in the Torah. Three psukim in the Torah. Next, Udivre kotshecha. What's kotshecha? Which one? Ketuvim. Amarti ketuv lehemor. I, I didn't hear you. I asked this. You didn't tell me. Yeah? yeah? What does that mean? One more time. Why does he call Divre Kochecha? Divre Kochecha because they were said in Ruach HaKodesh. It wasn't like a Shlichut like the Nevi'im. So Divre Kochecha Ketuvim are now three Psukim of the Nevi'im. What are the Nevi'im? Ki l'Adonai Menucha Moshe Lohim. Ne'emar. Adonai Menucha Moshe Lohim. Lavesh. Adonai Menucha Moshe Lohim. And then he says, V'inasuk Yitchei Avod. He brings the Psukim. And then he comes and he says, Now it brings out the Nevin. Right? Remember, this Ketuvim is what? This Ketuvim comes from the Tehim. David HaMelech. David HaMelech. We just said it this morning. Right? The chapter Tehim on the David Mizmor. He says, he says like this. How does he say? This is all Ketuvim. The Nevi'im when you finish, that is all, one second, that is all, the entire thing. So we just finished now, Malchuyot. One more time, let's get it very, very clear. Rosh Hashanah, why do you read Malchuyot? We do Malchiot in order to make HaKadosh Baruch Hu king. And what do we do? Zichronot. 
כדי שיעלה זיכרון לפניי, that you should remember you. ואיך נזכור? איך נזכור? על ידי השופר, so you do שופרות. Each one of them are three different ברכות. And then what happens? So what do we do? You have done מלכויות. Each one of them have ten פסוקים. Why do you have ten פסוקים? עשר? מאמרות. מאמרות, עשרה מאמרות. עשר ספירות. ספירות. עשר דיברות. עשר דיברות. And then the ספירות, and then you have everything. And the עשר אבל אלוקה אלו אל בקודשו. Remember there's going to be five and it's times two. So what happens now is that we have ten פסוקים. How do you divide it between the Torah and the Vim of Tuvim? So you have three of Torah, three of Tuvim, three of Vim, and then one of the Torah at the end. That's how you get ten. Three, 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 one. You always finish with the Torah. Why do we do that? We said, you start with the Torah because it's the most important. But then all of a sudden you come and you do the three. Ketubim. Why do you do the Ketubim? Either because yeah. David Amen. David Amen. And, yeah, very good. Or because you want to do Ma'alim Kodesh. So you do the Torah, which is the most important. You do the Ketubim, then you go up to the Nevim. And then you finish with the Torah. So you went up again. You went up all the way up. Right? But another explanation that we already explained was is that we always wanted to mention the Ketubim first because of the Vida Melech and because that's going to happen. It applies to us every single day. But now it comes out. Now you're going to make sense. The same exact thing Allah is going to apply to Zichronov. We don't have the time now. But Bezat Hashem, we will continue next time. Huh? Huh?